So we're here with our daughters, Emily and Anna, and they made it into the homecoming court, which is a really nice honor. It's been a lot more of a challenge than I ever thought though. Last year and all the years before that, there were two votes everyone could cast. This year they made it one vote. Their friends couldn't vote for both of them. They had to choose between them. All day that day they heard, oh, I voted for your sister. Both of them heard that. So it was kind of sad. It was very controversial. We'll see how it goes. This was the big pep rally today. They almost hope that they don't win so that they don't get pitted against each other again. Anyway, we had a great talk about it and all of us get compared to other people at different times in life. And we just gotta be glad for who we are and never compare ourselves to other people. And Emily and Anna are really good at that and I think that's what's let their friendship thrive so much. We can be inspired by people. We can find inspiration in all the neat things people do around us, but we shouldn't be comparing ourselves or pulling ourselves down for it because of that. Okay, I gotta go check him out of school. We gotta go get a skirt real quick. I love getting out of school early. <laughs> yeah. I'll take any chance at that. Just to go shopping, that's awesome. <laughs> We've never had to go against each other in anything. The worst especially thing about when they made it so you could only vote for one person this year instead of two. So that made it hard, but we're gonna be happy for the other girls that win. It'll be awesome for them. And so I'm excited for all the girls. Every girl in our grade should have been able to be on the court, so. It's not too fun to be compared as a twin. And when we're like right up there running against each other, it, it hasn't been fun, but we were so honored to be picked on to, nominated onto the homecoming court. And it's been so fun. All of it's been super fun. So whatever happens, happens. And I'm so happy that for whoever gets to win tonight, it, that, that's such a fun thing for anybody. Well, we've done our best to be prepared well, and ahead of schedule, but you know, life comes so fast. Sometimes it's like high level Tetris and you just can't quite be prepared enough. So Anna is going to be presented tonight in the homecoming court and she doesn't have skirt. That works. Oh my goodness. Wait, one more time. Yeah, I think I'm not going to talk on here anymore. There you go. I love the Thank goodness. Today is Friday and the last block of a teacher had the concert last night so he wasn't teaching and I don't have a skirt yet for homecoming and it's in like a couple hours so we got Emily and Anna out to go shopping really fast and then run to our house to get ready as quick as we could and they have to leave again before we can I think one of these I wanted cream because of my cream scarf but obviously I'll wear like a downy face like I don't think I'm gonna take off my coat <laughs> she keeps doing that what's it what's it doing that <laughs> she says it's been a rough day, I'm even know. She keeps going. I was stuck in my car seat for like 10 minutes and it would have drove me nuts. Oh, for babies. They didn't like being stuck in the car seat for a minute. Rather than gray, black, maroon. Yeah? And I really like that. Sorry. And, but I would just wear like a black skirt. 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 Let's do that one then. You will love that skirt too. Okay. Like a really good pencil skirt. Ooh. So fun though. I'm going to But if we probably wear this. And I'm falling in love. Kia sounds really good with us. It sounds really good when Kia does it with she does us. three parts. Because we have three part harmony, but. Oh, there's the girl. So let's go. They're going to be announced right now. Right here in front 
Next we see Art Club's float. Next we have Micah Richards and Elena Gerio with Connor McLean and Anna Hoffman. With Emily Hoffman and Andrew McCuskey. Oh, we're on TV. One minute, 14 seconds left in the first half, and then the homecoming court will be introduced, including Emily and Anna Hoffman and a lot of their friends. We're anxious to see just what part of the court they play. Can't believe they're already seniors. They're just babies like these little twin babies not too long ago. Stay tuned for what lies ahead. Fun night here at the football game. Pretty funny because the little tiny kids are trying to act as big as the big kids. So they're all off with their friends socializing. Anna Hoffman is the daughter of Michael and Kay Marie Hoffman. She's an active member of the National Honor Society, Christian Club, and SAG. Anna has been involved with music for all four years of high school. Emily Hoffman, daughter of And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the 2013 Homecoming Queen is a lot of swords. Every girl deserved it, and I'm really happy that they got this honor. Well, we had a good run. You know, I think we all tied for third, and, you know, I was really proud of our performance out there on the field. But I'm happy for Addison and, and Alana. You know, she's a good friend of mine, and everybody did great. And I still got to drive a fancy car. Connor did all right. You know, his hair's okay. My hair's looking good. It was fun, though. It was really fun. Are you done? Hey, we've had it. Yes, thank you. I think they're done. Half time. We're finished. I think our babies are done. We might have to take them home.